Hello, on this video I'm going to show you how to fill and prime the continuous ink system from City Ink Express. Uh, so this system is the one that uses the TO691-4 or TO711-4 cartridges. I'm not going to read out all the models because there's about 40 different models that it fits. So you, so you will see at the moment I've uh, filled three of the chambers. I've taken the big plug off the top like so and I've filled three of the chambers that's purely just to cut down on the video the video time so we've got one left to fill so with the appropriate colour ink we're going to make a hole in the top of the bottle so the thing to do when you're making a hole on the top of the bottle is to try and get a clean cut edge if you don't get a clean cut edge around the top of the bottle uh, you can't pour it in you'll have to use a syringe so using a little knife here and we're going to create a very clean cut round there and then we're going to fill fill the system so these continuous ink systems from City Ink Express is suitable for dye ink, pigment ink, edible ink and sublimation ink um, as you'll see by this video they're really easy to fill yourself so don't be put off from that so it is important just to remember to get a clean cut on the top. So I've filled them all to about 90% at the moment. And then with the screwdriver in your accessory pack, you need to remove, there's a plug on the top near the chip on each one. You need to remove the plug out of each cartridge. So you may see the ink starting to come down the line. But when you do this, uh, we'd advise that you uh, do it with the cartridge up in the air because these work on gravity if you lower it down the cartridge will start filling on its own and may leak out of the top so with the syringe we're going to put it into the hole put it in very firmly and then just draw back on the syringe and you'll see the ink shoot down the line and it will start to fill the cartridge as soon as you get a tiny drop of ink in the syringe then the, in the syringe then the cartridge is full and you can take it out. So just pull back and hold back, uh, and after about 15 20 seconds, it should start to. There we are. So it's just come through. I'm going to let go and I'm going to stop. So I'm going to put the plug in straight away because if you don't put it in straight away, it will eventually just pour out over the top. So move to the next colour. So the key is to push it down firmly into the hole. If you don't get an airtight seal, you'll be drawing back in and, and you'll be there all day basically the cartridge won't fill itself so if it doesn't look like that it's, it's filling or after 20-30 seconds nothing's come out you basically need to take it out and put it back in again so on to the third colour so just remember to do this, try and hold it in your hand and do it up in the air like this so you'll see the levels on the continuous ink system have gone down now and this is basically because the ink shot down the line and the cartridge will be full. So initially fill the continuous ink system to about 75%, 80% and then we can, once we prime the cartridge we can top, the, top it up with the last bit of remaining ink. So on the last colour, so you should be able to see this now filling on the video here you can see the ink slowly filling the cartridge and it will get to the top and then as soon as you see a little bit in your syringe you stop, let go, let go of the plunger there we are, it's just come through and I'm going to stop so basically now at the moment I've completely primed the system cartridges are full of ink uh, and there's no air bubbles at all in the line so the last thing to do is with the excess ink that you've got left in your bottles just top that up, pour it straight into the top so if you're not pouring and you're using a syringe then obviously it's going to take you a lot longer to do it with a syringe because the continuous ink system holds 100ml of each colour that's nearly 10 syringes for each colour so just to save time do try and get a clean cut around the top of the bottle you can get a clean cut you'll be able to pour it in like this so those holes on top where I'm pouring it in, this is, they are your refill holes as well. So when you need to top the continuous ink system up, basically you just remove that large plug and then top, 
top it up. Uh, it's best to top it up to about 90% full, keep these systems. There we are, the last colour. So, I've done all that, so now all I've got to do now is just pop the large plugs back on top, and then we've finished. There we are, one missing. There we are. So, that is how to fill and prime a continuous ink system that uses the TO691 to 4 and TO711 to 4 cartridges from City Ink Express.